in this part we are going to look at transformations and we want to convert a state space into a transfer function because sometimes we have a system and we find our state space and we would like to take that state space system and maybe find the transfer function for it. The procedure to do this is, first of all, we can see that this state space is in time domain and transfer function is in frequency domain, meaning that what we can do, and to remember transfer functions, we assume that our system's uh, equation initial condition is zero. With state space, we do not do that. We do not assume that we have zero initial condition. But here, we need to assume zero initial condition. So let me just write the first condition. Assume zero initial condition. Okay, so that is x naught is equal to zero. So what we need to do is, we need to take the Laplace transform of the entire system. <coughs> so first, taking the taking the Laplace transform, we are going to take the Laplace transform of the entire equation. So we are going to take the Laplace transform of, and we take the Laplace transform of our main equation. So a x of t plus b u of t. Okay, and we need also to take the Laplace transform of our output equation. Okay, so if we take the Laplace transform of that, and we are going to have, uh, let me just reduce this. If we take the Laplace transform of this, we are going to have the first equation. Let me just write it in red here. Here we are going to have s, x of s is equal to a times x. We are going to have big X. Let me change this because Laplace domain, we assume we are using this capital letter. X of S plus B U of S. And our output equation, we are going to have Y S of S. Y of S is equal to C X of S plus uh, D U of S. So now I'm just going to rewrite the equation properly to clean it up. I want to put the the x's on on one side, so we can have s x of s minus a x of s is equal to b u of s, and I can pull the x of s out to have x of s times s. Now, I'm going to write this, i minus a. The reason is this i is the identity matrix because this helps us to keep the dimensionality of the systems, okay? And it's equal to b u of s. So now what we want is x of s is equal to, if I pre-multiply both sides by s times i, where by your i is your identity matrix, I'm going to have s times your identity minus your a inverse times b u of s. What we can have, we can substitute x of s into our output matrix in here. X of S, we can substitute that in there. So let me just write it down. So we are going to have, let me just write, we have our output is equal to C X of S plus D U of S. If I substitute that in, we are going to have Y of S is equal to C uh, S I minus A inverse 
uh, times B U of S and I cross the close this bracket plus D U of S and what I can do is I can pull the U of S outside let me just rewrite this in the cleaner format so we're going to have Y of S is equal to S I minus A inverse times B plus D times U of S so now remember what we are trying to achieve is we want a transfer function isn't it right the input I mean your output versus the input input and the output okay so we are going to say G of S is equal to our output over the input which is going to be C times S times I minus A inverse times B plus D and most of the time D is zero anyway so you will not really consider that much and this is our main equation and we are going to look at an example on how to use this equation in order for us to find our transfer function. Okay, here's an example. We are given uh, this uh, state space and we are asked to find the transfer function of this uh, representation. And we worked out our equation earlier that what we want is g of s is equal to C times our identity matrix times A times B plus uh, the D matrix. Now, it's important that you realize which one is which. Okay, so this is our A matrix, this is our B matrix, C matrix. This is the D matrix. So we are just going to substitute everything in. So C, we say our C matrix was 1, 0 times. So I'm going to open up a big bracket somewhere here. So we are going to have SI. That's an identity. An identity of that it's to keep the dimension of the of the system of uh, our equation you have s 0 0 s okay minus uh, because let me just talk about this identity matrix again a little bit here you know our identity matrix you have 1 0 0 1 okay and if you multiply that by S, you are going to have S, 0, 0, S. That's all that, is, that it is. Okay. So minus uh, our A matrix. Our A matrix is 0, 1, minus 2, minus 3. Inverse. Then plus our B matrix is 0, 1. Our D matrix is zero. First of all, let me work on the on the inverse matrix, our inside. Let me just rewrite this. Uh, if I take this one, zero, and this one, s minus s minus zero, we're gonna have s. And the next one is zero minus one is minus one. Uh, this 0 minus minus 2, that's 2. S minus minus 3, it's going to be S plus 3. S plus 3. Okay. Then we have that bracket there. Inverse. And we have 0 and 1. Next, our we're going to work on our inverse as well. Uh, the inverse is you take the adjoint which you'll just swap the internal equations and over our determinant that will give us our A inverse. And again, I'm just carrying this along so that 
you can see what's going on step by step okay okay if we take our determinant of this the determinant will be uh, s times s plus 3 minus 2 uh, times minus 1 that's gonna give us s times s plus 3 plus 2 plus uh, because we're gonna have minus 2 times minus 1 which will give us plus 2 okay that's our determinant over our adjoint our adjoint matrix is going to be we just swap s plus 3 this one goes there this one comes here then you're gonna have s here and the leading diagonal you just change their signs 2 and 1 times 0 and 1 I just carried that one down there next I can we can work out this this is going to be very easy we're going to have 1 and 0 I'll carry this s s plus 3 plus 2 and we are going to have going to have 0 there s plus 3 times 0 that's gone that's 0 uh, 1 times 1 that one is is there and we are going to have minus 2 times 0 is gone and s times 1 that's s okay we are fine the next one the next one I can pull I can pull this out because this is now this is not a vector anymore this is like a scalar all right and I can just multiply our vectors out so I'm just going to rewrite this uh, we have 1 over s s plus 3 plus 2 times 1 and 0 and 0 and s okay and 1 times 0 is 0 0 and s is 0 so our equation is not going to change much our transfer function g of s is equal to 1 over s squared plus 3s plus 2. That's our final answer.